Scotty McCree. <laughs> <laughs> Did this competition kind of make you feel fearless in some way? Like you feel like you can do anything now after you know being... What? That's a funny question. People will actually start off this competition believing themselves that they could make it. And at the end of the day, they might doubt themselves because they didn't make it far. But I actually started off this competition doubting myself, and at the end of the day, now I actually believe in myself. So that was a great journey for me. Any stand-up comedy in your future? Uh, you know what? I'll do it if they're willing me to do. They're willing me to pay like millions of dollars, and I'll do anything. <laughs> if they're willing me to pay me, then I'll do anything. Except adult films. If it, except for adult films, or you know, anything. <laughs> singing at the old creepy guy's wedding. <laughs> on his fourth wedding or fifth wedding. Uh, How are you going to cope without Phil? You guys have been such good buddies throughout. You always do years together and you're going to miss him? He looked uh, like he was crying. He wasn't crying. He looked like he was. Oh, Philip was asking me if he's not going to be the same without me, but you know what? He is hypocrite, so he's <laughs> going to be fine. No, I was kidding. <laughs> Philip's a great guy. I'm pretty sure he's going to do well. Do you feel misunderstood by the judges? On or what? America after your performance last week? Uh, my life by Billy Joel. You know what? People have been saying you took this so bad, you took it the wrong way. But come on, honestly, it's entertainment, right? It's really about laughing or crying. I had to choose one. <laughs> <laughs> and I let them laugh. So what's the big deal here? But I understand from the perspective saying this is a comp singing competition. I feel like I proved it myself by yesterday, yesterday's performance, so I'm pretty happy. Is it almost like a slap in the face at all to get sent home after doing the serious performance? No, it's actually really slapping the butt because, <laughs> a good you slap. know, good slap in the butt, like, you know, how athletes saying, oh, good shot and yeah. stuff like that. You really don't want to finish this com competition in a bad note, you know? If I, if I got sent home from a performance, my life like that, all the criticism, then I would have a bad mood right now, but I had a standing ovation from Jennifer Lopez, Steven Tyler, and Randy Jackson. Now I'm going home. I was literally giving my personal concert to everyone and going home. This so is bittersweet. Bittersweet, yes. Who's been your favorite judge? That's a very <laughs> obvious question. Let me see. <laughs> Steven Tyler is a guy who's nearly 60 years old <laughs> and trying to tell me that I'm not taking this competition seriously. Randy Jackson is Kai, who has four kids. And um, Jennifer Lopez is a hot woman who's been saying, I am the greatest singer in the world. <laughs> so I'll take Jennifer Lopez as my favorite judge. <laughs> Can you tell your um, Latin American fans? Do uh, I have Latin American fans? I do. A lot. Oh. More than. More than I am. Oh, nice. <laughs> Can you tell them what's the most important experience for you here in American Idol? Um, I started off this competition to prove the world that if you really truly believe in yourself, you can become someone and if you do stuff for others, great outcomes will be always there for you. I feel like I proved that and it was a great lesson for me. Are you excited for the idol tour? Yes, I am excited for idol, idol tour because I get to share all my life with other contestants for the rest of the summer. That's happy. I get to have extra cash in my pocket, so that's happy. <laughs> and I get to see travel the whole around the world for free, so that's happy. What what are you gonna, what's your gonna be your first thing that you're gonna spend some money on when you get out here and some cash in your pocket? Wow, that's a really good question. We've been getting lots of gifts. Mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy got us lots of gifts. Mm -hmm. All the other people got like it gave us lots of gifts, but I literally did not open any of them. I just sent it back to New York, my organization. Cause, no, I really did. Cause, yeah, because mm -hmm. I really don't need it right now. Gift is something for someone who needs it, and I, I thought I'm not, I don't need it. So first thing I want to do with the salary that I make out of it, I'll, I really want to help my kids out, of course. Just, just like bring, no uh, brain. I know you joked a little earlier about if you were going to, or to audition for this, don't. But do you really have words of advice for someone who wants to do the competition? Uh, word of advice. Do not doubt yourself, but do not believe in yourself that you can make it because this can hurt you, this can make you feel better. But it's really about business and entertainment. So have a, have a really thick skin if you want to try. Are you mad at Randy and Steven for not saving you? I don't know, but when you ask me a question, it makes me want to really like, be mad about it. <laughs> 
you. I'd be mad about that. Well, I mean, one. Jennifer tried to save you, and they were like, mm, "I'm good." I mean, you know what? They have they have their part. They get they have their own perspectives towards the performance, and I didn't satisfy them, so I'm not really. I don't really care. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm kind of mad at them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was kidding. No, I have no no bad blood. And a message for the people that voted for you throughout. Mm -hmm. Do you have a message for the people that voted for you throughout the competition? Thank you for voting. Stay crazy, stay humble, stay with me, because something better and crazier is coming on your way. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.